It's review time. Problem number eight is about tabular problem. So let us read together. You take a survey with five yes or no answers. How many different ways could you complete the survey? So by the way, how many questions that you need to answer? There are five. So let us have this table. So we have uh, items, which is five. One, two, three, four, five. And each item, you can answer it either yes or no. Okay, so it's so clear here. Let us have to express it in a diagram. Okay, in item one, the possible answer is either yes or no. That is two. On the second item, we can yes, no, yes, no. So it becomes four. On the third item, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. That is eight. Meaning to say, if this would be the thought pattern, we can apply this formula. Capital M to the power of N. So let N be the number of items and small capital M be the number of options. So in our problem, 5 is the number of items. Yes or no is the number of options. So, so let us try to identify that 5 is the number of items that capital M is the number of options. We're going to solve it, the formula. So, I mean, we're going to use the formula to solve the number of different ways. So, 2 to the power of 5, and 2 to the power of 5 gives a product of 32. So, meaning to say, if the problem needs to know the number of different ways that you could com that you could uh, complete the survey, you're going to use this formula even in a multiple choice. Example: If we have three items and each item has four options, so therefore you're going to solve it as four to the power of three. Four times four times four is sixty-four. I hope you learned something from this video. Good day and God bless everyone.